On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 interview questions for a biomedical scientist role in the UK. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Precious. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 interview questions that you're likely going to stumble into for your biomedical scientist role in the UK. Without further ado, let's get talking. Now, being a biomedical scientist is a very rewarding job. I've made a lot of video about being a biomedical scientist. I am a biomedical scientist in the UK and it's been a very rewarding job. I've made a lot of videos as well about being a biomedical scientist. I have to register as a biomedical scientist for international students. I've also made videos on um, how to get a job as a biomedical scientist, but this is gonna be about interview questions. I was interviewed as a biomedical scientist. I've got friends who interviewed interview people as well so I messaged them and they sent me some of these questions and um, those are the questions they ask biomedical scientists whenever they are interviewing. I can assure you that when you go for an interview as a biomedical scientist in the UK one or two or even three or four of these questions are likely going to be appearing and during your interviews. So the first question you're likely going to be asked is why did you apply for this job? In fact, everyone asks this question, even outside being a biomedical scientist or outside a biomedical scientist interview. A lot of companies, a lot of employers ask this question. Now, one of the things that I do, not to sound my trumpet, I love interviews. I enjoy interviews. I feel like I do very well when I go for interviews. Sometimes I get the job, sometimes I don't. But I'm one of those people that when I go for interviews, I'm not scared. Like, I'm, I just want to talk and talk and talk. Um, so uh, one of the things that I do is that whenever I'm asked questions, I always ask why are they asking me this question? What do they want to hear from me? Because let me tell you the truth about interview. Tell them what they want to hear. <laughs> That's just the truth about interview. What they want to hear, tell them. But how are you going to know what they want to hear if you don't know what they want to hear? So always think about why are they asking me this question? So when someone asks you, why did you apply for this job? They just want to know the skills that you have. So this is the time for you to shine. This is the time for you to start telling them what you want to tell them or what they want to hear. Tell them, blow your trumpet, literally. If you want me to make a video on how to answer these questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be able to make a video on that. But this question, what, why do you apply for this job? Is just basically wanting to know the reason you apply for the job, which is the skills that you think you have that you're going to be bringing into the job. Another question is, what experience do you have? Um, this is where you also want to talk about the skills that you have that is targeted to this job. The skills that you have that is targeted to this job. And now, this is where if you have you have any CPDs that you can show, you show them the CPD. They just want to know if you have skills and if you have recorded CPDs for these skills that you have. Another question is, what does HCPC stand for and what do they do? This is very important. A lot of people don't know as much as they register with the HCPC. They don't even know the full meaning of HCPC and what they do. So this question always, in fact, it came for me when I went for my interview. It always comes. What does IBMS stand for and what do they do? It's almost similar to the HCPC one. What does IBMS stand for and what do they do? It's for you to make sure you know about IBMS, know what it stands for and what they actually do. What is data protection? This is a big one. There is no company you're going to be working for that would not want to ask you about data protection. So you need to know about the act, you need to know about the regulations and the law that um, consigns data protection. Very, very important. So what is quality control? Now, there are two types I'm going to be talking about. The thing about quality control is that they, they want you to explain to them the different types of quality control and they are actually wanting you to talk about the internal quality control and the external quality control. So you need to learn, you need to read up on quality control. Very, very important. Every item, HM, biomedical scientist interview you go to, they will definitely ask you about quality control. Another aspect of quality control they are going to be asking you about is ISO, which is the quality control management system. 
if you don't know anything about ISO, I would encourage you to go and read. I'm going to put you on the screen. I will encourage you to go and read up on about ISO. Know what ISO stands for. Know what um, ISO a management system does, and everything that has to do with ISO in relation to being a biomedical scientist. You want to read up on it. Another question that people you are going to be asked. This is uh, specifically for. Um, if you're going into histology that's histopathology they're going to be asking you what is the tissue act very very important in fact there's no um biomedical scientist um, interview in histopathology they're not going to ask you about tissue act because that's what you're literally working with is tissue so they want to know what you know about the act what you know about the laws the regulations um, in relation to the tissue that you're going to be working with so what is tissue act is a question they're going to be asking you so you need to know about it another question is about hazard what do you understand by workplace hazard now hazard is anything that is a risk it's going to be a risk to you or it's going to be a risk to someone else and they're going to be asking you in your place of work what are the things that you think are going to be hazardous to you you may want to give different types of um, hazardous things in your place of work um, from experience as well even on top of your head you can say the things that you think will be a potential risk or could be hazard um, things like sleep um, spillage things like um, um, sharp object things like running cable all those things are potential hazard that can cause a uh, serious problem so they will ask you about hazard another question they're going to ask you is about health and safety regulation very very important every interview you go they are going to be asking you about health and safety whose responsibility it is and all of that if there's one line you should not forget always remember that your health and safety is your responsibility not just your employer's responsibility but your responsibility that's one line you should always add whenever they ask you about health and safety your health safety and well-being is your responsibility so these are the 10 questions i'm going to be putting them on the description section of this video as well so you can go and uh, look at it and and pre prepare for your interview of course they're going to ask you like scenario based questions as well which some people do tests you're going to be doing some tests you're going to be doing some calculations some um um, what's it called and um, dilution kind of things you're going to be doing that as well so you may want to go and read up on the different dilution and concentration level and all of that go and read up on it they may ask you those questions but generally biomedical scientists question is more of generic it's not quite fair and um, it's not specific per se it's when you become a specialist biomedical scientist they will not start asking you like specialist kind of questions so yeah so these are the 10 questions that you're likely going to be asked if you go into an interview for a role of a biomedical scientist do you have any question let me know in the comments section if you know you've benefited from this video please give me a thumbs up and also um, drop a comment on the comment section that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. Bye.